I am the worms and the ground and the branches and you are the source. Alright, today I'm checking out Winter Sun. I'm listening to the song, The Forest That Weeps. Let's get into it. perfect song to start the stream because the way it started was so gently i feel like i could do my intro to the way the song started it was just you know music was just coming in and then they kind of shock you they just Durr! and then they bring the music a little heavier which reminds me yes i am still live streaming it's not like i can just you know go chill and go to sleep or something it was just so gentle the beginning then boom then the vocals come in i came in with the growls and whatnot thank goodness i had the lyrics i don't know if you'll hear those without it the lyrics seem kind of deep they seem deep. I am the worms and the ground and the branches and you are the source that orchestrates all life. I'm like, dang, okay, that's getting deep. The source that orchestrates all life. What are you, what are you calling me? You know, what are you calling me, God 
or something like that. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I guess this is a song about praising just life and how we came to be. I mean, using the force as the, the point of reference to praise all that is that life existence in totality. I don't know. We're only four minutes in. How deep is it going to get? going on but it feels like we're journeying somewhere or something i say that because the music feels slightly gallopy you know what i mean not full-on iron maiden levels of gallop doesn't it got a little bit of a just like i don't know maybe you just gallop in place i don't know it just feels kind of gallopy and since the, the song is forest theme i feel like we're galloping 
through the forest right now with the music. They definitely picked up the banger level of the song. Like now, I mean, this is the most banger it's been earlier in the song. I feel like they had the music a little bit dialed back just so you could take in the pure nastiness of the vocals. It's like, oh my goodness. Except for, you know, when they're singing about the gray sky, mountains, whatever, nightfall, that part they're like regular singing. But other than that, the verses were just like, rah, 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 rah. and you could hear it so good because the music was toned down. I like that ending. The ending was just a little bit... Other than like after the song literally ended... Well, I guess it wasn't over. Well, the very end of the song was like nature soundscaping. It's just after that whole song, they just place you in nature and let you sit there for like five five seconds or so. And you just hear the wind hitting the leaves and stuff. It's like, oh, that was a nice little touch. You know what I mean? Every single detail. That's what you get with the long songs. You could do stuff like that. You could have that intro that was real soft and then it comes in. Like, nah. Then the music starts. You just got a lot more room. You got a lot more room to be creative. Now, this forest that weeps business, and I guess it's some nature love, praising nature, really taking in the beauty of nature. They're saying the gray mountains were singing as night fell or the rain came down and the wind was howling. It's just like taking it all in. I mean, Borderline felt like a spiritual love 
for nature or something. As it, as the night falls, the father of the shadows does this and that. I don't even know what that means. But you know, what I mean? it's like artistic talk that I, and maybe I can't interpret and whatnot. But between that and then saying like the something that orchestrates all of life and all that, it almost felt like on a spiritual level. It's like that's how much they love nature. I'm thinking this is like a, a nature, uh, just you know, uh, respect and love for nature zone. That's my guess. I don't know. Tell me, man, what do you know? Yeah, my boys on the road. Where to go? She told me, boy, you to go. Like I don't know.